So I started rereading the book, The Effective Executive by Peter Drucker. If anybody knows that book, it's like business 101 or business person 101 as far as how to make decisions and how to manage people, how to manage decision making and that whole process. And I came across a term, quote, knowledge worker. I absolutely hate that term. I hated it so much that I kind of just stopped reading and then I went down this really big rabbit hole, which is what I'm gonna share with you right now. He uses this term in the 1950s and the 1960s to talk about the trend that he saw in the labor market and the overall economy as a whole, right? He said that it was implementation of theoretical and analytical knowledge within organizations and industries that would drive them forward, which is and was absolutely true. Theoretical and analytical knowledge within organizations and industries would drive them forward. Yeah, I can't argue with that, sure. The bone that I have to pick with him is just about the use of knowledge worker, right? By using those terms, he created a false dichotomy that the binary distinction between like knowledge and labor is made up and misleading, right? So a lot of people know the term knowledge worker, but I'll just kind of sum it up for you here. Knowledge worker are people that sit behind desks and move things on screens, right? Whereas labor is people that do things and affect things in the world. The problem that I have with the term knowledge worker being reserved for those people that just sit behind desks and move things around the screens is that laborers and people that do things in the real world, those people still need to have an incredible amount of knowledge to get their job done. I've done both of these styles of jobs in my own life. I was a firefighter and before that I was a handyman for years. And now I don't do any work in the physical world. I just rant about things online, like how I'm doing right now. But when I was a firefighter, I remember the first time I cut someone out of a car. Right? And I think back to that, like, did that take knowledge to do? Like, yeah, that absolutely took knowledge to do, to do it safely, to do it efficiently, to make sure that we didn't injure the patient any more than they're already injured, to make sure that we didn't cut something we weren't supposed to cut, to make sure that the car didn't crumple or act in a way that we didn't want it to act. It took highly specialized knowledge to know how to cut the car. Like you make this cut first, then you make this cut, and then you make this cut. And then you're not injuring the person or the patient or yourself any further. That's super, super knowledgeable. 